Hi, this is Lindsay Sullivan back at Bone and Joint Institute with our monthly Facebook Live series with our physicians. So today we are talking with Dr. Richard Gibson um, about osteoporosis. Um, the month of May was Osteoporosis Awareness Month. So as we wrap up that month and start into June, we just wanted a, a little bit more um, information on osteoporosis. But before we get started, Dr. Gibson, thank you for joining us yeah, today. Thanks for having me. Um, give me a little background on yourself. Yeah. Describe your specialty. Um, Richard Gibson, I'm non-surgical sports medicine here at Bone and Joint, so uh, I see any orthopedic injury from head to toe, and um, we'll talk about conservative treatment for those things, whether that's physical therapy, injections, ultrasound guided procedures, um, that kind of thing, or if you have a problem that needs surgery, we can get you with the right surgeon mm -hmm. as well. Um, I'm the team doctor at Page and Fairview High School awesome. currently. Mm -hmm. um, and happy to be here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. So um, we'll get kind of into it. So just describe us, describe to us what is osteoporosis and who does it commonly affect? Yeah, osteoporosis is decreased bone density. So it's weakness within the bones. And so that means that your bones are more likely to break than somebody who's young mm -hmm. and healthy. Um, it's often confused with osteoarthritis. Okay. Um, which is wear and tear to the cartilage in a joint. And osteoarthritis mm -hmm. is a painful, common mm -hmm. cause of yep. pain in joints. Um, osteoporosis, though, is actually a silent disease. You okay. don't, there's no symptoms associated mm -hmm. okay. with it. It doesn't cause pain until you break a until bone. Until you break a bone. Yeah. And so it most commonly affects um, the classic uh, group of people would be postmenopausal women okay. over the age of 50, but it okay. can affect men and women alike. Alike. Okay. And what what types of injuries do you often see? You mentioned fractures, but do you see any anything else with osteoporosis? It, no, it's mainly just the fractures, okay. and it's common fractures in uh, situations where you probably shouldn't break the bone. So okay. a fall from a standing height shouldn't okay. break your wrist, but if you have osteoporosis, it, it may. It may. Okay. Yeah. Um, so how does it how does it treat it? Mm -hmm. Like what do you, what do you do for that? If yeah. Comes in with that. Um, well, first of all, we always make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D okay. and calcium. I would recommend getting regular weight bearing exercise, okay. avoid alcohol and tobacco and all mm -hmm. those kinds of things. If you do have pretty significant osteoporosis, though, there are several medication options as well, whether okay. that's pills, uh, injection treatments, or IV infusions. There's okay. several different options. Um, and traditional medicines for osteoporosis uh, decrease bone loss. Okay. So as Throughout our life, uh, our bones are always going through this process of breaking down and remodeling. remodeling. Okay. When we're young and healthy, the, the remodeling and rebuilding of the bone mm -hmm. kind of outpaces yeah. the breakdown. But as we get older, the breakdown outpaces it. So traditional medicines decrease, just slow that slow down that a little down. bit. Okay. But there are actually some new medicines that help build the new bone. And so they really reduce your fracture risk a lot better than okay. others. So. Okay, awesome. And, and you mentioned a few things about um, osteoporosis um, prevention. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about a little bit about those again? Yeah, so um, in general, it would be calcium and vitamin D are the two main okay. Um, minerals that you want to make sure that you are staying up on. Okay. Um, and then it's the things about avoiding alcohol, tobacco, okay. weight bearing exercise, exercise that, kind of, that thing. kind of thing. Okay. And and why is it so Im important for to prevent osteoporosis, but also for for overall health? Yeah. Um, osteoporosis. I mean, it it leads to fractures. Okay. And having fractures, especially when you're older, is one of the most common reasons to need to be admitted to a nursing home okay. or limiting you from walking and getting okay. around and having to be wheelchair bound or something okay. like that. So if you can prevent those fractures, mm -hmm. then it can really change your quality of life. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So, and that's those, those things to prevent osteoporosis are just great life, life advice too, Absolutely. actually. Yeah. So that, that's awesome. Um, so as we, as we wrap up, Dr. Gibson, again, thank you for this information on osteoporosis. Um, but describe for me the comprehensiveness that we offer here at Bone and Joint. How does it help the patient experience overall? Yeah, I think our osteoporosis treatment kind of highlights that comprehensive mm -hmm. care. Um, people often come in, the first sign of osteoporosis is a fracture most mm -hmm. of the time. And so people will come in and they'll be treated by one of our providers for their fracture. Mm -hmm. And then those are surgeons or whoever you're seeing okay. identifies that maybe you might have osteoporosis and we can get you set up for a bone density bone test, density test. Okay. Um, and then get you over to me to talk about osteoporosis if we need to. Okay. Awesome. And get you treated and hopefully prevent future fractures. Future fractures from there. Well, yeah. awesome. Um, anything else you want to add to that or just overall? Yeah. Uh, 
Not really. Okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> well, Dr. Gibson, thank you yeah. again for your time. Uh, we really appreciate it. So um, if you have any questions on um, the osteoporosis and our bone health um, or uh, to make an appointment with Dr. Gibson, you can uh, visit our website at boneandjointtn.org or give us a call at 615-791-2630. Dr. Gibson, thank you again for yeah. your time. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.